don't know what I be smoking, y'all. I really don't. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I have a little haul for you guys. Not much. It was pretty much started because of something that just came out that I really wanted to get, and then you know how that goes. So picked up a few things I wanted to share with you guys that are new or new to me. I don't know. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I'd like to welcome you to join the family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week and it's mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you want to see what I picked up in my most recent haul from Ulta, Target, and Marshalls, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, we're gonna start off with Target, and I actually do have a couple things in here from CVS too, forgot about that. So we're doing Target first. I went in Target for shampoo and conditioner. I just recently found out, I think her name is Leslie Marie 123, or 1223, something like that. I'll have it on the screen. But I've been having issues with my hair shedding a little bit, and it happens throughout the year, and so I just have to be a little more diligent with my hair care, and she mentioned having similar issues and she had the OGX biotin and collagen shampoo and conditioner. So I ran to go pick that up, even though I have others, I don't care. But while I was in Target, I noticed that we got minted cosmetics in ours. So I've always been curious to try out their lip liners and you know, I love my brown liners. So I picked up two. The two shades that I got are Bear and Night. So I will show you real quick what these look like. I was having trouble deciding which one to get because I thought Bear was gonna be more of a nude, but it actually looks like a really nice brown. So this is Bear. So it's like, that's a nude for us. It's not too brown. Like my Pat McGrath is like brown brown. And my NYX Ex Espresso is also really brown, almost black. And then this is the shade Night. Oh good, I'm so glad those look so different. So I hope y'all can see the difference in the shades there. Uh, this big one here is Night. This one's Night and this one's Bare. So I think these shades are going to be perfect. And these are $10, so super happy that they're in the store. I could try them on and I finally was able to pick them up. The other thing that I purchased is this Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. I just saw this in, what is her name? Samaj, another YouTuber that I watch. I saw this in her video and I just wanted to try it. I kind of don't want to open this because I have so many concealers open right now, but I will keep you guys posted on this. I'm not opening this right now. Like I know these things have a shelf life and I have way too much stuff open. So this is about the shade I normally like and I can't wait to use it because it does say that it, I think it just, it's supposed to not crease and all this other kind of stuff. So this is in the shade medium golden. And this was the darkest shade that they had in the store. So I hope it's not the darkest shade they have, period. The next thing that I picked up, I went to CVS because I had a coupon, I ain't even gonna lie. And I saw they had 32% off and then I also had extra care bucks for $10. And Flower Beauty was in my CVS and they had, if you buy, if you spend over $15, you get $4 back, whatever. So they have this concealer. This is their Flower Get Real Serum Foundation. This is super liquidy, super runny, but I wanted to try it because again, you guys know I've been wanting something that's a little more moisturizing, but I'm also thinking this would be really good to mix in with my foundations that are too dark and very matte. So this is in the shade Deep Golden D 2.5, and they did have darker shades. I'm not gonna take this lid off because it's gonna take too long. I'm just gonna take this out the top. It does have a pump. And I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand for you guys to see. The other shade that I was looking at was, I wanna say it was Nutmeg, and for whatever reason, Nutmeg looked a lot more golden. So this is what the shade looks like. It looks a little dark, but when I blend it out, 
Y'all know I like my foundations dark anyway. I don't know who we kidding. Like, I think this is perfect. So it might be a little dark. <laughs> but I'm going to get my tan back, and I think it's going to look gorgeous. But I love the finish of it. It does dry down a little bit. So I will let you guys see that once it does. But then I also picked up their concealer. This is the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. It says crease proof and weightless. This is in the shade medium deep. This is what this looks like. I am also not gonna open this because I don't want it to go bad. This is a little darker than what I normally wear, but I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna compare it to the other one for you guys to see. I think it'll be good on days when I wanna do a little less glam. So as you can see, there is a quite a difference in those shades. So this will still be for like glam, or not glam, but just still enough coverage for my under eyes but not super brightening, more just kind of every day. So that's it from CVS. We'll move on to Ulta. I went to Ulta and I ordered some stuff on Ulta because Ulta had Uoma Beauty on sale for 40% off and I've been wanting to try their concealers. I wasn't sure what shade to get. I am gonna take one of these back, I think. Um, <laughs> but this is a Stay Woke Brightening Concealer. I picked up shades Bronze Venus T1 and T2. So this is T1 and then this one's T2. I think T1 is probably more of the shade that I traditionally use. I think T2 is gonna be a little too yellow. Let me just swatch them. Miss, I don't wanna open too much stuff. So this is T1. It's kind of thick, surprised. And then this is T2. Yeah, T2 is going back. <laughs> oh yeah. So that is the differences. T2 is the one here. Y'all know that is not how I wear my concealer, not even questioning it, bringing it back. And then there is the foundation drying down. It is a little dark, but you notice it's drying down to be a little bit of a matte. So I am excited about that. T2, you going back to the store. This other product that I ordered, this is the Uoma Beauty Badass MF Matte Filler Lip Liner. I hadn't tried any of their lip liners. This is in the shade Simone. It is another brown. It is a sharpen pencil, which is not my favorite. Ooh, this is a very pretty brown. And for if y'all that didn't know, my middle name is Simone, so I was like, yeah, I think this will be good. That is a very pretty brown. It's like a chocolate red. So definitely glad I picked that up and that is a keeper. Everybody's been talking about this Morphe foundation. This is the Filter FX Soft Focus Foundation. It says medium to full coverage. I wanted to pick this up because I wanted to. Y'all know I love foundations. I'm not even gonna try to make up some kind of excuse. I've heard different reviews on it. And I watched Makeup Shayla's video and she picked Rich 26. And we normally wear the same shade, but she tends to gravitate more towards golden shades, whereas I gravitate towards neutrals. So Rich 26 is a golden, Rich 27, which is the shade that I picked up, is a neutral. And I was kind of worried because I thought it was gonna be dark. Comes with a pump. This is what the packaging looks like. I feel like it's just easier to open the bottle to show you guys. So I feel like this shade is perfect. So that is what, where you go? There it is, That that's what the foundation shade looks like. And when I rub it in, like I'm gonna put a little bit, let's see. This is how I tested it because I want the foundation to look like my chest, especially if I'm wearing something that is a little bit low cut or shows my chest. Like I want my face and my chest to match, not be two different shades. So I just thought like once this dries down and I blend it out, I thought the color was perfect. So we're just gonna let that sit, but you guys will see if I would have went with the golden one, Rich 26, I think it would have been too yellow. So. This is what it looks like, and I can't wait to use it. I was also excited because right now they're doing a promotion where you get a brush for free, and they say this brush is like $16. It kind of looks like one of those flat 
paddle brushes, but it's shaped a little bit different. So this is what the brush looks like. So I don't know, everybody put the foundation on with this. I will be doing a wear test with this and I will use this brush to give you an idea of how it works. But yeah, glad I picked this up, glad I picked this shade and I cannot wait to do a wear test and let you guys know what I think. Then I got a gift with purchase. Um, it was a fragrance set and there are five fragrances in here. They're deluxe size samples. The first one is this Azaro Wanted Girl. This says it is a shower milk. Oh, I didn't know you were supposed to rinse this off. I put this on like lotion. <laughs> I put it on like lotion when I wanted to smell it. I think this smells really good. It's in line with all of my other fragrances that I like. If you haven't watched my fragrance collection video, go check that out. I like warm florals and some kind of spicy scents too. So thought that this would smell good. They also have this Victor and Rolf Bonbon. Bon. I think this is, this is the same brand that makes um, Flower Bomb, which I don't like, but I love how this smells. Like I'm probably gonna end up buying it. It's a little sweeter than what I normally buy, but it still smells very sexy and very adult, not like kitty sweet. So I love getting stuff like this because you get to try different scents without committing to full size bottles. And this was a sample, so it's not even that I had to pay for a deluxe size sample or a rollerball. The other one that came in here is the Giorgio Armani My Way. I don't know how this one smells. I have seen it. Well, I don't know about that one. I'll put the notes on the screen for these. I don't know what the scent is for this one. I feel like I would have to put it on and I'm not gonna put it on right now, but I mean, it's not bad. It kind of smells like, actually, it kind of smells like this Azaro one. So I don't know. I'll have to keep you guys updated on how it smells on me because that is what makes the difference. This last one, I already have a, si a sample size of this one and I thought it smelled good. So I was happy to see it again. This is the Lancome Idole. This is what the bottle looks like super cute. And like I said, I have this already in one of these deluxe size samples. And I like how it smells. So I'll keep you guys posted on those scents if it's something new that I want to add. Like I said, the Victor and Rolf one, yeah, probably going to happen. But the other ones, I'll keep you posted. Now we're going to move on to Marshalls. Is this Marshalls and TJ Maxx? It is. We're going to start with TJ Maxx first. I found I love press on nails. I prefer that to glue, although I will glue sometimes. But these Kiss Impress Press On Manicures, these already have the glue on the back, so you don't have to glue. It just has these little tabs. And I, I think I like these so much because they help me venture out to try colors I wouldn't normally buy. So this was a design I hadn't seen before. These are normally like $8 when I go to CVS or $7 at Walmart or Target, and these were $4. These usually last me about a week, even with being in the gym but I do them on Wednesdays because I deadlift on Thursdays and it's just trying to squeeze the bar is a no. So I do them on Wednesdays and they usually last me for the week. Next thing I picked up from TJ Maxx is this Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. It says it's smoothing with rosehip and argan oil and pore perfecting. Instantly blur flaws as you perfect and smooth your skin, reduces fine lines, and makes pores seem to vanish for a gorgeous porcelain-like texture. I had never tried this. I, y'all, I just remembered, I bought the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer this summer, and it's not even open yet. I told y'all I have a problem. I know, I know, it's okay, it's okay. But so this sounds like it falls right in line with all the other primers I've been loving. So this was only seven bucks. So yes, I needed to pick it up. I was so excited to find this, y'all. I have eyeballed this ever since it came out. I don't remember how much it cost full price. I'm sure it was like 40 bucks, but I didn't want to pay for it. I mean, I don't have a lot of full face palettes. This is the Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. I 
literally like I was like there's no way I'm passing this up this was on sale at TJ Maxx for $13 so it is a full face palette it comes with a contour a blush a finishing powder a highlighter a highlighter and a brightener I love how deep these are and you guys know I was looking for another face palette that I'd be able to use once I run out of my Tarte and Makeup Shayla collaboration one. I think these shades are absolutely gorgeous and I was like if I pick this up and nothing's been swatched or even if it had been swatched I'd have sprayed it with alcohol and I would have got it because for $12 compared to the normal price I could not pass that up. I found another Marc Jacobs brush. This is their shadow brush. The other one was the crease brush. So I don't know. I just, y'all know me. If it's something on sale and it's high end, I'm probably just going to grab it. I'm pretty sure this is a flat shader brush. So I'm just, I'm kind of wanting to know, like, is there really that much of a difference between high end brushes and regular brushes or is it all just people wanting to be bougie so this yeah this is just a flat shader brush so to pack a shimmer shade or a matte shade on your lid i don't feel like i mean i don't know i don't i don't know i'm not into high-end brushes so this was on sale for five dollars and i know it is probably way more expensive than that I also picked up a Sephora, this is their Pro Cream Brow Pencil. This is a dual end pencil. It has the spoolie on one side and then the flat brush for brows on the other side. I have two of these and I really just wanted another one because I feel like these are really expensive and hard to find. So this was only $4. So it was like, that's a no brainer, grab it. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the things that I got from Marshalls. The first thing is this Bare Minerals Under Over Lip Liner. And is that the shade name? It's called Graphic. Guess what that sounds like? Another brown. It's actually a little more red. But this is another sharpen pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. Yeah, this is definitely more red. I did a red look, sorry, it's so close to the brown, but that's it up here. I did a red lip the other day and I noticed that all my reds are either like super red, almost pinkish, or they're more burgundy. So this one's a little more true red. I'm making an excuse, it was $4. And honestly, I think I thought it was more brown. But either way, I don't have a lot of red liners, so this will be great for my collection. The next thing I picked up is this Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer in the shade Honey. I've never tried any Becca concealers and it said Ultimate Coverage. Ooh, that's light. That is light. <laughs> that might be light even for me. I mean, we'll make it work because I'll just put a little bit of a darker powder over it, but I don't want to open this. Either way, it was $6, so... I just wanted to try it. It says full coverage and long wearing, so under the eyes. And I know it's not drying. Um, that's pretty much what we're looking for. So I'll keep y'all posted on that. I also picked up the Milk Blur Stick. This is their primer stick that is really good for pores. It is a silicone free translucent blur stick to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines. Y'all already know pores and fine lines. This was 10 bucks. Hadn't tried it before. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. So if I can find stuff and it's not used, swatched already in Marshalls and I've been curious about it, I'm going to pick it up. I also picked up their, this is a trial size it looks like. This is their Luminous Blur Stick. So this is a shimmering solid primer that absorbs oil, minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines, and leaves a luminous matte finish. It looks very similar to the big one, but it says that it has a luminous finish. So it looks a little gold. Definitely see the smoothing, but you can also see there is a slight sheen to it. That'll be interesting putting that in my T-zone, but we'll see, I don't know. This was $5, so I think it's a good price to be able to try something new. Almost done, we have two more things and they are both foundations. 
I picked up the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I got this from Marshalls and I got the shade Coconut 5W4. It says Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation, Full Coverage 24 Hour Wear, Water and Transfer Resistant. This has been out for a long time and I just never tried it. And I think I didn't try it before because my skin was oily. So now that it is a little drier, I'm excited to see how it wears. This is what the packaging look like. Why does that look like it's so red on camera? Y'all, I don't know. Is it? I feel like I struggle picking out my foundation shades. In my head, I want to be a certain shade, but it's not real life. So I think I always pick shades that are a little too dark. Ooh, this is thick. I'm just taking it out of the tube. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. It is dark. Surprise, surprise. So this is what the shade looks like. I do like that it is a neutral. Ooh, yeah, that's dark. That is definitely gonna be a summer shade. This is what, <laughs> that has a strong smell. Ooh, I don't know. But this is what the shade looks like. It probably looks like that little bit so yeah it's a little dark but y'all know I always make it work and this is thick so I can see how it would be full coverage but I can't wait to try that I'm gonna try it with the shade I am right now I don't care I will make it work last thing I picked up is this Laura Mercier flawless Lumiere radiance perfecting foundation this was oh the Becca one was ten dollars this one was on sale for $15 and I think it's normally like $50. So this is what the box looks like. And then this is what <laughs> Looking at it on camera. It looks so orange. Oh my god um, Well, let's see this also comes with a pump. I don't know what I'd be smoking y'all. I really don't that is not my shade <laughs> Not even close. It's a little too warm. Oh boy well, I'm probably gonna bring that one back because I don't wanna keep something I can't wear and that just looks way, I'm gonna let it dry down and I'm gonna see, but I don't think that's gonna work. I don't know, we'll see. I just get so excited finding stuff on sale and I'm like, oh, it's fine, I'll make it work, but I don't wanna do that because I'll end up just throwing it away and decluttering it later. So probably gonna take that one back. That is it for my haul. That is everything that I picked up. And a lot of this stuff I'm excited about. I love getting stuff on sale. It just does something for me. I don't know. I'm sure you guys feel the same way. Comment and let me know if there's anything you're excited to see or you want to get my feedback on. I can either leave it in the description box or I'm actually thinking about I'm going to start doing like little small update videos and reviews. If I've tried something a couple times to let you guys know because a lot of times you see the haul and then you don't see anything afterwards. So... I want to keep you guys updated on what I kept, what I didn't, what worked, what didn't, etc. So comment and let me know what you guys want to get feedback on and I'll share it with you. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. Again, if this is your first time watching, please join the family by hitting that subscribe button. I am going to put this stuff up and probably play around a little more, but it's nighttime here. So I'm going to eat dinner, get ready for bed. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.